Hi, I'm Cameron Williams, and today I'm going to be showing contractionary policy. So to start, we have our ADAS curve, and we'll have price level here and output here, and we'll have our aggregate demand and aggregate supply. And I'm going to be showing it in um, with more than full employment, so your potential output will be right here. Oh, this is long run aggregate supply. This is short run so here's your e1 is at this point straight down we have our y1 and then we have p1 so this is the current state of it and then we have our liquidity preference model we will have interest rate and quantity of money so here we'll have our supply of money and our our monetary demand and then here's our current equilibrium state we're at q1 and r1 and then if there was to be contractionary policy such as a raising of the discount rate which would bring the monetary supply back it would now be over here and you would have a new equilibrium which would give you a q2 right here and an r2 right here so your interest rate would raise and your quantity would fall and back to the adas model what, what that would do for this is it would bring your demand down down back to here where you'd now be back on the long run aggregate supply so you'd be at potential output and then you'd have a new price level here. So overall your price level would drop and your quantity or your, your output would fall. Thank you.